Hello, friends. My name is Maximus, and I'll be your dungeon master for the evening. I'd like to welcome you all to the 46th episode of Caches and Cantrips, where some of your favorite streamers play Dungeons and Dragons live on Friday nights. I'm joined by our amazing cast of Bunny Dreadful, Mac and Cheese, please, Hi. Virtual Spectre, and Moobs Like Jagger from the GG and Crew. Hello. D&D &D twice in a week. In one week. What are we thinking? <laughs> uh i right. think it's amazing and this is fantastic love it love it i hope y'all are ready for some some shenanigans y'all already gotten some shenanigans on wednesday so i don't uh, know how we're gonna top that it was pretty good <laughs> <laughs> i don't think mac has no idea what happened either oh. be fun. i don't nope. uh, you'd be proud of us though yeah well, the, the hometown's gonna know oh, shortly did you light stuff on fire You'll see. Uh, anyway. <laughs> um, it's not a no. <laughs> yeah, it's not a no. So, um, this is if this is your they first time here. so fast. <laughs> <laughs> if this is your first time here, you just forgot since it's been so long. Um, we mute all of our alerts for the stream, uh, but we put them in the chat, and then I see them in my heart. So thank you all for supporting us for our little stream and our YouTube VODs and our Patreon and our podcast all the things so speaking of all the things if you do need to go and uh check out some of the previous vods or podcasts go to castesandcantrips.com uh, i think i have a command for that now things are broken just lots of stuff's broken but it's fine <laughs> castesandcantrips.com is where you can go to find some of that stuff but with that being said uh podcast we're almost at 1200 unique plays now so we're still uh we're still going up and up so thank you all for listening into our little show also, if you haven't seen it, we do have some uh, more recent merch in the recent weeks for some uh, new comfy pants with our little donut embroidered on it and some other Sweet Justice stuff as well as some Castles and Cantrips stuff. So go check that stuff out. Castlesandcantrips.com slash merch, I believe. I don't even know my own websites, but I'm pretty sure that's that's it, the URL. Sounds right. <laughs> yeah, I think it's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is totally right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, also, if you... Uh, if you aren't able to watch live, but you but they're your episodes and you want them now, uh, Patreon early access. Oh yeah, I didn't change the title too. That's different. We'll do it live. It's all fine. I can change everything. Uh, <laughs> so go to the Patreon, and uh, you can get early access to our vods or even early access to uh, our podcasts. And uh, one of the tiers will actually get you a chance to help me create an NPC for the world, for our own very own world. I'm like. I don't even know i'm trying to do two things at once because i forgot to update the title but uh anyway <laughs> um someone give me a title for the stream what do y'all <laughs> go for it and i'll just type it uh ron is not brawn i don't know <laughs> gotcha Braun is brawn ron is not brawn ron is not brawn done that's the name of the stream today <laughs> yes <laughs> Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> uh, anyway. It's been a day. Yeah. And before that, it had been a week. Oh, man. And before that. Um, yeah. So, Patreon, check that out. Check out our YouTube shorts and TikToks, which will be coming back soon once I catch up with things. Um, yeah, it's been a week, but we're all good. Everyone's fine. Everyone's healthy. Um, it's a lot of paperwork now. So, with that being said, I think that we should just go ahead and settle into tonight's episode of Casters and Cantrips. Our story last left off with Sweet Justice in the aftermath of the battle with the Elemental Abomination. The party tended to their wounded companions on the battlefield. As this was happening, Hjalmar proclaimed his ascension to the throne and become the Jarl of these lands, the first Jarl in centuries. As tensions rose between the Ram Crown soldiers and the Four Winter Warriors, Sweet Justice and their allies left the area before any escalation occurred. 
After a day's travel, Sweet Justice said their goodbyes to Cedri and her rangers, as well as Dwali and his delinquents. The group then headed southeast towards Last Chance. One night during their travels, Ron was visited in his dreams by a knight in red. The knight praised Ron for his recent accomplishment, but advised him that he had only treated a symptom of the imbalance. However, he had not uprooted the cause. The knight informed Ron that there was still work to be done and nefarious schemes were afoot far to the east. After a few days, the group arrived in Last Chance, where they found an encampment of Vantus soldiers outside the town. They gained entry to the encampment and spoke with Admiral Dyra Elmhold, who is currently in charge. She informed the group that Vantus was trying to reach an amicable agreement with the populace of Last Chance, but an underground group known as the Collective was actively thwarting the negotiations. She mentioned that an envoy was sent to the town recently, and they never returned. Last Chance denied any involvement of the missing diplomats, but the Admiral strongly suggested or suspected the Collective was behind it. She asked Sweet Justice to help her and find information on the missing diplomats to prove that the Collective were acting on their own interests. Sweet Justice agreed. The group was able to make their way into Last Chance and over to the local tavern known as the Fool's Dagger. Once inside, Vin's new persona, Vince, was able to spark a conversation with one of the Collective's thugs known as Scratch. Vince left the tavern with Scratch. Bryn called it a night early, and Ron and Falcon got up to some shenanigans. And that is where we'll begin our session this evening. Thank you. So, as you, uh, it is not morning yet, as you had uh, spoken where no one else could hear you, Bryn. <laughs> it is still that evening. And you have passed oh. out from the crimson tea as you uh, failed your wisdom saving throw. So your couple hours uh, are going to be a little messed up. But we will jump right over to Vin. Vince. As you, Vince. Apologies. Over to Vince. As you and Scratch are leaving the tavern. And... I make eye contact with Ron and like mm -hmm. a kind of like nodding motion so that he knows that like, all right, we're leaving follow like that kind of like. He won't be following. <laughs> what? So we're in the streets currently. He knows that you are gone. Um, but Vince, you are, he, he is clocked that you have left with this person. Um, but Vince and Scratch are out into the streets. And if I, be I believe you were going to talk about some uh, illicit substances for purchase? Yes. No, he was going to show me... Um, do, 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 I wrote it down. Um, oh, he was going to show me where they were holding the, uh, mm -hmm. the person. Because I was like, dude, that's crazy. You got to show me. And he was like, all right. Or she was. Mm -hmm. So you make it out into the streets as she sort of um, leads you further into Last Chance as you are s leaving sort of what's known as the Copper Arch, the old um, arch from uh, times before, and you head towards the uh, north. You pass a large sort of open area um, with an ancient statue in the middle and head to the Docks Ward. And Scratch says to you, All right, now, listen. We just... We're here for business, all right? I just can't say I'm in there taking you to look at the, um... Well, you know, the people you're interested in, so you gotta at least buy something or make it seem like that we're doing business, because we are doing business. This of was, course, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, uh... I think we agreed on 150. Right. I think that was right. 150 gold worth. All 
right? And I, um, like, hand her, like, a pouch of 150. Hold on, not yet. We're in the middle of the streets. What, are you oh. crazy? I don't know. It doesn't look like anyone's around. People are always around. People are always watching. Hmm. Why are you so interested in these people anyway? I just think it's crazy that you got one. One, we got three. Three? How'd you manage that? We'll talk, we'll talk more when we get inside. And Scratch leads you over to just this large, nondescript, just warehouse. And as you are sort of looking outside it, it looks about as average as a warehouse can look in these times a large square building um a small gate in the in the front a small sort of landing um outside on some cobblestone and um she makes her way over to the door and she knocks um almost in a a rhythm um you kind of catch it but it's some sort of just almost like a secret knock if you want to go there mm -hmm. um, i like keep note and like n n i remember that knock <laughs> and you see one of the uh sort of the little slit open into the door and they sort of look out and see you um, Scratch is like, no worries here, we just got a goal here, looking for some goods. She, the person behind the door looks at you. I nod. Alright, and you hear uh, a very large latch <laughs> open up with a couple other smaller ones. And the door is opened. And inside, you sort of see the interior of this place of... There are some large sort of barrels stacked to the right. There's an, kind of an open uh, downstairs floor. And then up top, um, there's sort of a sort of a small area where just other things that are stacked up, crates, barrels. Um, there's a staircase to your left. And as you go, um, as you look, there's like some bookcases and things up there. But you um, sort of make your way in and scratch like, right, come on and sort of lead you up the stairs. As I like make my way in, I like look behind me in a way that makes it look like I'm just making sure no one else sees us, but I'm really looking to see if Ron and Valken are following me because like I'm going by myself mm -hmm. into like this criminal den. <laughs> make, a, uh, make a perception check. Please be following me, please be following me. Uh, perception. 13. You are sort of looking out um, before this door closes behind you, and you don't really see um, anyone that you would expect to see. You know, Ron's kind of very easy to pick out of a crowd in most uh, circumstances. Um, but as far as you know now, uh, you're just on your own in this uh, infiltration mission. Damn. All right. So, uh, I'm, I go in, um, and I, uh, like at this, like, I, I don't, I'm not acting any different, but I'm like more alert for myself since like, I know I'm by myself now. Yeah. And I would like to keep note of how many people I see as well. Like, um, how many people are in this building? Cause now I'm thinking like, I got to come back with my friends. So far, um, you have seen... Um, one person at the doorway that kind of lets you in, sort of a a, a big burly uh, fella, and you've seen about three or four other people milling around uh, in here. Okay. And Scratch kind of goes upstairs and sort of looks over her shoulder um, and starts opening some crates and sort of milling about, um, opening another crate, milling about, and opening another crate, um, almost trying to seem busy. Mm. And then um, she goes, all right, follow me. Follow my lead. Mm -hmm. and she walks back down the stairs and she goes, got to go downstairs to um, restock, you know. And then the one of the doors says, 
We just stalked yesterday. I don't know what to tell you. Nothing left. He goes, all right, and sort of stomps over. And then um, you'd notice that he sort of stomps over um, and then goes behind the stairway and does something. Um, and you see a large portion of the floorboard sort of spring up. And he moves over and grabs these floorboards, pulls up to lead to a staircase down below. And he uh, says, make it quick. And you and Scratch descend this very dimly lit staircase. And as you make your way down, she pulls out a, a set of keys and opens this lock to a door at the bottom of the landing. And you know just from far how far you've traveled, you're definitely subterranean here. You're underneath the ground in a cellar or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and as you open the door, um, or she opens it, you can see inside there's even more just barrels, more storage, um, a couple of crates that are stacked up in the corner, maybe two or three of them. Um, and you notice that the um, the emblem of Ram Crown are painted on them. And as you make your way further, um, you make your way back and sort of take a left side into this cellar and all the way back to some other crates. And then there's a small chest um, and she opens this chest and goes, all right, you said, um, Tide Creeper, right? Right. 150 golds worth? Yep. Hand it over. And I... I want to... Um, and, and I can see the goods, right? Or not yet. She's got this chest open. You can take a look if you'd like. Um, I, like, lean over and take a look in. And I'm like, all right. And I, like, flick over 150 so she can catch it. <laughs> You probably won't be able to flick over 150 pieces. I don't pieces. know. It was like a coin or... Okay, I uh, I toss a pouch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's a lot I of just want to look cool, year. okay? God. <laughs> Tossing a pouch looks cool. You flip this pouch nonchalantly <laughs> and she grabs that just out of the air. Um, just as um, nonchalantly and goes, all right, and starts counting some Tide Creeper out and hands it over to you quite a bit. Um, you can subtract 150 gold from your gold and add tide creeper and just put 150 golds worth um internally i'm sad because this goes against my tattoo fund <laughs> um and she goes all right um i guess we can go see here's the rules you can't say a word to them you just stand there and just take a look all right all right and it's like, come with me. And then you kind of go out in the opposite side of the cellar and you can see um, there's just sort of a, a, a large just door there, um, sort of metal banded, um, large lock on it. And the, there's- is The whole door is, uh, so the door we came through and this door, are they both metal or any is any components of it wood? There's some components that are wood, but it's like metal, like reinforced. On the door okay so it's a wood door that has metal reinforcements for yes. both for both of them yes cool and um so she goes all right and then there's sort of like a, a little viewing port kind of how you went into the um warehouse in the beginning so she opens the viewport and sort of um peeks in and she's like all right and motions in she's like not a word I I look in and I see him. I'm like, holy shit! You weren't kidding. Oh, I'm sorry. And I like grin, um, like menacingly, like at the guards. Like, oh my god! Like, haha! You got caught, suckers. <laughs> mm hmm. And you see, and these aren't soldiers. They just they look like finely dressed, um, in the Vantis colors. Uh, mm -hmm. There is a um, uh, a human man. Um, there is a gnome woman uh, and a uh, halfling man. Okay. 
and she goes, all right, that's enough. And just sort of closes the little viewport. Um, and she sort of looks at you and she goes, now what? Not even I that late. Um, I, I ask like, how do you even get him? I mean, I didn't get him, right? I mean, they just came waltzing in here like they own the place and um, came to negotiate. And, uh, well, you know, we just negotiated appropriately. Didn't put up <laughs> much of a fight. Uh, what do you plan to do with them? They're just going to be here? Just going to hold them for a while. Make them sweat. Mm, I'm not, I'm, I like give her like a nod like I like your style <laughs> and we already questioned them and got information so they're just sitting for a while mm -hmm. might as well use them for a, an upper hand yeah a little above my pay grade but you know um and then I like I'm like looking around the area I'm just like what do people do or like for fun in this town? Only one place to go. The bar. Yeah, pretty much. Well, um, what do you like to do for fun? That is a really good question. I haven't really been in one place long enough to figure out what fun is, you know? That's pretty sad, honestly. I mean, I'm sure we could figure something out. Yeah, uh, buy you a drink? Sure. And um, at this rate, it's probably been like a good like 25 to like 30 minute walk here. Mm -hmm. So you've been hoofing it for a while. And um, she's like, well, we can bust out some of that Tide Creeper that you just bought. Special sure. occasion, maybe. Yeah. Um, and... I give I give it to her. <laughs> all all well, of not, it. All, well, um, <laughs> how, how much? How much was it? How much did I get? 150 gold worth. She's like, not not here. I mean, I technically work here, right? We'll go down to the you know the bar and whatnot, and you know, go from there. Huh? Ready to go? I nod and follow suit. Yep, she comes um, back out, locks the door, um, leads you back up out of the warehouse, um, and you notice that aside from the five that you had seen before, um, you also see that there um, is another group of people um, that are on their way in. Um, there's a tiefling, um, a dwarf, a gnome, uh, as well as uh, a halfling. halfling and these woman. are different than the people that were in the bar in, in a, her group? Yeah, they're in addition. People you haven't seen before. And um, the woman kind of, or the, the halfling woman looks towards Scratch and like looks at you. Um, and Scratch is like, she's doing a little business, boss. Nothing big. Mm. And she says, you know that no one's supposed to be in here. We're not doing business now, are we? We're getting out of here anyway. It's not, not a problem. Not a problem, Naomi. She goes, that's what I thought. And just sort of like, just looks Vince up and down, just like, pfft, and just kind of shoves her way past you. This halfling shoulder checks you um, and sort of makes her way upstairs with her little retinue. How tall is the halfling? They like, is he like hit my hips or something? Yeah, I mean like three and a half, four feet tall. That's like thinking. a child, right? Ron? <laughs> mm -hmm. I like, um, like understanding the hierarchy, just kind of like a, a New Yorker, like, eh, you know, but mm. not like I'm not provoking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and she's like, not worth it, not worth it, and just kind of leads you out. And uh, as you make your way back, the long trek, anything in particular that you'd like to talk about with Scratch? Um, where are we headed back to the bar or are we headed back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bar. Um, I ask, let me think. Um, 
How'd you get a how did you start running with them? Recruiting. They kinda have to seek you out, you just can't join or anything. Sure. Naomi, did I hear? Real yeah, she's, character. She's the boss. Don't fuck oh. with her. Uh kind of seems... gut you in your sleep. She's been known to do that. What? Oh yeah. Jeez. Uh oh, I hope I didn't cause too much trouble. I just thought we were having some fun. No, no, no. It's it's fine. That's kind of a uh, normal Naomi reaction. Oh. Uh what's got her panties in a bunch? Uh a lot on mind. We got a lot of irons in the fire. Uh right now, you know. A lot of things converging. Oh, like what? Can't really get into that. Kind of above my sure. pay grade. Close. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to be naughty. <laughs> um. Yeah, I I get that. Uh, they don't tell people too much. Uh, just kind of have a lot of stress, take it out on others. Seems kind of rough. Yeah, I mean it's it's uh it's kind of by design that people don't only know what the need to know kind of thing mm -hmm. makes it easier sure well what's y'all's plan next like uh everyone seemed like they just got back from something do y'all leave and run the streets at specific times and she sort of looks at you um make a persuasion check <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm debating if I want to do advantage. Um, what's my persuasion again? Ten. Uh, okay. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna risk it. We're just gonna not. <laughs> I have more important questions to ask later. <laughs> Fuck. Um, twelve. Well, she's like, I mean, if if I knew, I can't really discuss the kind of stuff, you know. I mean, you know, we just met. We're getting along really well, but we just met, you know. Yeah, I guess I asked because, uh, I mean, I've been running around and, like you said, not having any hobbies or things to do gets kind of lonely. And y'all seem like a good bunch. I mean, minus Naomi, but. You wouldn't say that too loud. She pays well. Oh, money? What, Maybe uh. Well. What kind of pay we talking? Cause I mean, if you're looking for for another, I could use some money. Really recruiting right now. Things are really kind of tight knit until we get this whole thing that we're doing um, done. But maybe um, in the future, you hang around, put in a good word for you. The thing is, taking care of the three, you know who's in your, you know what's. Maybe. Maybe we've got lots of things going on. Yeah. I'm just bored. Well, let's find something to do then. And she sort of just kind of um, grabs your arm and starts walking you down the street towards the tavern. Okay. I blush. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you make your way sort of down the street and, and you see like down like the main stretch, like one of the shops like overhang like on the front of the shop is like wrecked and shit and like knocked over you see like a, a carriage like all like fucked up in the street the um, shop huh i uh, you said it was a shop or the bar yeah just like a building like just not the bar but like one of the shops or a building like the little awning is like knocked over um there's like pigs loose in like you know in the street um just like what the hell happened here kind of thing. There's, there's a, um, it's that carriage in the middle of the road. Um, and you make your way back and you're out in front of the tavern and we'll switch over to Bryn. Oh, I thought um, I was cast the fuck out. 
Yeah, you're you're pretty well passed out, and there are a couple times in your uh, in your passed out slumber. Um, it just feels it sounds like someone is like hammering something outside on an anvil. It's kind of faint, but you hear it like over oh, and over. Just, oh, just I tried to sleep. Shh, 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 shh. I'm not feeling so good. I'm gonna like, is there like a window? I'm gonna go to the window and like look out to see if I can see what's making the noise. Yeah, and, and you look outside and there's really nothing going on, but it, it it stops for a while and then you maybe doze back off. Mm -hmm. um, but mm -hmm. it, it, it kind of bothers you what's, you know, going on and you really couldn't find a source of what was happening. Well, I'm guessing also when I woke up, I realized that these three chuckleheads were missing. Yeah. Like I'm just alone in our room or whatever, mm -hmm. since we usually just are cheap asses and share a room. Oh, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Finn! And I'm going to kind of like open the doorway to the hall. Finn! And you hear this Ron? sort of boisterous laughing and like people carrying about in the uh, tavern. It's still bugging me, that noise. Like I like I really want to check it out. It just it woke you up. Okay. I mean, I'm assuming Brent's going to go back to bed because I know when I'm drank too much, all I want to do is go back to bed. <laughs> but if it continues, I'm going to start throwing things. It went on for a while and you couldn't find the source, but as you kind okay. of entered into, like, as you look into the tavern, it's just loud everywhere. You can, you're more than welcome to head back to bed or see what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I'm going to head back to bed. I want to sure. see what's going on, but I feel like Bryn was just going back to bed. Okay. Yeah, Bryn goes back to, to bed. I mean, um, first real quick, do I see anything in the tavern? Like, I'll go down and kind of like look, just like, uh, like looking for my friends. Do I see any of them in there or do I see anything suspicious or anything interesting? Does it look like anybody else wants to arm wrestle? No, as you kind of look out and it's you're not okay. sure how much time has passed. You've kept dozing mm -hmm. off and then waking oh, up and dozing no off and waking up yeah. and like don't know when this stuff happened. And then by the time you get up and look around, um, people are getting kind of boisterous in, in the tavern or well into the bottom of their of their drinks. Um, I feel like Brenda knows better than to, you know, mess with a bunch of drunk people at like 3 a.m. Mm -hmm. So she's going to go back to bed unless gotcha. I see something specifically that interests me. I'm going back to bed. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Give me that short rest, please, DM. Okay, yeah. Long rest, if you will. You won't have enough for a long rest. You can have a short rest. Dang it. it. There's no okay. way you're having enough for a long rest. It's still <laughs> the same night, so that y'all got here. Um, okay. But back to Vin, you go in front of the tavern, um, and you make your way inside, and people are boisterous and, and loud. Um, and as you walk in... Um, you see Scratch sort of walk behind the bar and she kind of motions you on. I follow. Mm -hmm. And the bartender just gives her a, a look and she just sort of nods and he points her back. Um, and you make your way in the back and there's a door that leads down again into another um, dimly lit landing of stairs there. And you get to the bottom um, and she looks and she goes, where the, where the fuck is Nyx? It's supposed to be her, supposed to be her shift, honestly. Fucking lazy ass. And she opens the door, and what you see when you walk in um, is there's a very nice staircase. It's think of like a speakeasy, like hidden inside of a really shitty bar upstairs. Oh, that's cool. And you make your way um, down, and uh, she's like, this is a little spot called the stiletto. Uh, much nicer than upstairs and she walks down the stairs and you see a half work woman like dragging some bodies just like back into the back and there's blood stains all over the floor there's like bullet holes all like in furniture there's a table flipped over in the middle and she's like the fuck happened here yeah I Nix. I, I look around and I'm just like what in the world She's like, Nix! And Nix is like, what the fuck happened here? 
and she just kind of pokes her head out as she's dragging like one of the people back into the back she's like a couple bunch of fucking people came in here acting like they own the place and pissed off Val Shun apparently got the uh upper hand and they left with him I don't know 20 minutes ago 25 told me to fucking clean the place up and she just kind of looks around just like all right and she looks at you one drink and one drink and then I go to work I'm sorry I like sh- sh- I shrug and nod and I'm like gotta do what you gotta do mm-hmm. and uh like tap the bar and I was like two and then I, I I look at her and I'm like ale or there's something nicer here you you look and tap the bar <laughs> there's nobody there but there's a dead guy behind the bar I peer over ah. and I just grab two <laughs> what bottles a lazy of bartender uh-huh. <laughs> yeah you um, grab some really nice like bourbon okay from behind yeah. the bar this place is just stacked all behind of whatever you would want so i like i like i reach over and grab two like full-on bottles of bourbon and i mm-hmm. give one to her and i just like cheers and we chug from the bottle yeah. just chug from the bottle she's like i like your style and i nod um, <laughs> she's like kind of have to work now unfortunately Are you gonna be around town for a while uh yeah where can i find you same place you found me before i give a nod and walk back upstairs she kind of like grabs your arm as you're walking up she uh she says i had a nice time i'd like to see you again um good one vince i boop her on the nose and i say (laughs) me too scratch (laughs) (laughs) and uh, you make your way back up the stairs and then you see scratch just like down some more out of the bottle, put it back on the bar and just grab somebody's legs and starts dragging them back into a back room. <laughs> um, and oh, I, you guys, the fan fiction's already getting written right now. <laughs> <laughs> I walk upstairs and um, I'm looking for Ron and Valken. Yeah. And you're looking around and you don't see them at all. And you don't see Bryn either. You know that you'll have a room for the night, but they're Maybe they turned in. You're not sure. Um, I go upstairs to the room and walk in. Uh, it's not upstairs. It's like a another room that's just like a dirt floor and like <laughs> some cots. <laughs> I Great. go where I think my friends are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You go in and you see Bryn is just kind of passed out, but no Ron or Valken. I tickle Bryn on the foot and I like wake up. Ah! Wake up. Have you seen Rats! And I like no. try to. Oh, sorry. And then I tickle her behind the knees. <laughs> ah! Vin, stop it. Where's Ron and Velka? I'm asleep. I don't know. I had too much tea. Everything is floating. Oh, I there are loud out. noises. Uh, there's, I found out where the, the guards are. Or I found out where the three missing people are. Guards? The three, what? What, what, what are you talking Missing people? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm going uh, back to sleep. Bryn. We need to find Ron and Valken. Uh, Come okay. on, get up. DM on a scale of one to ten. How effed up is Bryn? Right? You're coming down now. It's been it's been okay. A while. Okay, okay. It, the, so I'm the like whole walk grumpy, back and but forth to that warehouse with Vince has been like an hour. So like okay. you're coming down now. You're fine at this point. Okay. 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 Oh, fine. I just really wanted a full night's sleep, you know. Well, what's the last thing you remember, dude? Like, do you remember Ron and Valken telling you, like, they last were going thing somewhere? I remember, I drank some of that tea against bitter judgment. Then I arm wrestled that really hairy dwarf man downstairs. Then I arm wrestled his friend. Then I arm wrestled what might have been a lady, but she was not very pretty. Then I arm and Bryn just starts like telling you all the people she arm wrestled. She does not know where Ron and <laughs> Valken are. I um. I tell her, like, all right, we need to go. Uh, and try to find um, Ron and Valken. Um, where do y'all go? Um, I get a hunch that some mischief happened and go to the store that is all wrecked up on the street. Gotcha. 
Vin, did you do this? No, I mean, I would I'm do just something sure. like this, but yeah, I Yeah, it didn't. looks like something you would do. Ooh, okay, let's look for clues that maybe Ron or Val can have been here. Okay. Um, can I do an investigation roll? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. So, um, no need. As you are walking mm. outside and you look at the storefront, you see the like fucked up carriage. Um, you see it first. The night sky lights up almost as bright as daytime in the distance, not too far from where you just were uh, for Vince. And you just hear afterwards, <laughs> And you see a large just explosion, like a ball of fire raising up into the night, lighting the town. Oh, no. Is that them? <laughs> and I like, I, I look at Bryn like, fuck. Bryn's still kind of like coming together. So she's like, oh, God, what did Vin? Wait, Vin. Oh, what? I didn't do it. I'm here. I have uh, my hands up. Like, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, I really didn't want to wake up okay let's go uh, All right. and we go towards the light yeah and you make your way down towards uh the docks area ron and valken in the aftermath of blowing up the ship <laughs> that was smuggling weapons um from ram crown into last chance as you have dusted yourselves off in the aftermath of this fireball uh in the sky um, where do you go? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, we are speed walking back to the tavern to hopefully find Bryn and Vin and maybe get the hell out of here. <laughs> You're doing the whole like speed walk, look over your shoulder, but like not look oh, yeah. over your shoulder to see if anyone's following you. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's all of the above. People looking outside to see what happened. You hear people yelling, people starting to come outside, and then you hear just in the distance as you're speed walking. Um as you were speed walking away, um, you see or you hear someone just say, um, just like, No! No! I'll kill you! And just yells out into the darkness. Nobody's clocking me and Ron walking away. They're not interested in us. Make stealth rolls, please. Okay. If you're trying oh, to hide, they're being conspicuous. Shit. Oh, stealth oh, rolls. Oh, God. Shit. Uh, I think I'm at disadvantage. Oh, because of your armor? Yeah. Y'all oh, got shit. inspirations. Y'all can do whatever you like. Uh, Ron does not. Uh, I'll give you I'll give you my inspiration that I got. At the okay, end of last thank you. <laughs> That my stealth much. Wow. Thank oh, God okay. you did that, but I got a 14. I got a 20 total. Okay. Uh, so you think that you are relatively hidden, sort of weaving in and out of buildings, out of different shacks as you sort of push your way out of the docks um, area, that district, <laughs> and you sort of head back into the north part of uh, the Copper Arch where you would kind of um, close to where the tavern is, and then you uh, cross paths with your rest of your party. What did you guys do? Oh, uh, totally found you. There was uh, like explosions. Um, if any anyone um, asks, Ron is not Ron. Are you Ron? Is Ron. Ron it's, is Ron. It's crazy, right? You guys saw the explosion. We totally hadn't nothing to do with it it's a crazy event that happened and we uh are just as surprised as everybody else vin seeing right there their right? bullshit uh, is like wrong. what did you guys do <laughs> no no uh, we didn't do anything this is uh uh a crazy it is event. uh it just happened now it's a good time to go uh quickly if uh, uh you have huh? stuff in a uh, tavern room we should yes, uh, quickly we should get probably, it and uh, maybe camp somewhere and then we should go now Mm -hmm. Like right now, like turn around, go back to the tavern, get your stuff. All right. Well, uh, what did you do? 
but he didn't do okay. anything. No, but, uh, no time. Ron, you know, obvi- did you not see the explosion? It's dangerous here. Ron will we explain, but uh, we have to go now. Okay, Ron, I didn't expect this from the other two, but not from you. Uh, Ron didn't Ron do anything. Is, yeah, it was well, a random explosion. We we just checked fire out. Explosion. It's a good We're on good the fire right now. Why are you so? Why are you both acting so weird? Uh, We're on the streets, and there's a random Ron's explosion that we have. Looking no around. Idea. Okay, okay, let's go. Uh, Ron cannot. Uh, we cannot go in tavern for other reasons as well. So let uh, we will wait uh, outside, and then uh, you guys. Uh, yeah. Yes, but uh, we have to go now. Wait, okay. were you the ones that Okay, were let's go. Out? And Ron starts pushing them back. Nope. So like, quickly, quickly. <laughs> we have to go. Mm-hmm. All right. You can, uh, you make your way back in front of the, the tavern. Um, and you're sort of out front there. People are still carrying on and, and um, sort of causing a ruckus inside. Uh, so what's what are y'all's goal? Picking up your things and leaving? I think the goal is to maybe leave town for uh, for a spell. Um, I will do whatever they think is best, just because yeah. they know what's Green going on. Trust and we don't know Ron, what's going on. So I guess I'm like <laughs> okay. But somebody got some splaining to do later. <laughs> I'll like go in and grab our things from the room and okay. settle up any tab we have. Got you. So you go in to settle um, your tab. Actually, no, and- I'm just going to tell her there's, I'm like, oh, there's rats in the room. We're leaving. We're not staying. Bye. Yeah, I'm assuming you grab all your adventuring gear and stuff. And as you walk into the tavern, um, you can see that there's a new group of people that are sort of laughing and, and being boisterous. Uh, and a person catches your eye that they um, sort of have a, a, a reddish skin um, with this light blue hair um, sort of back. And um, they've got a blue goatee with a twirled mustache and these uh, sky blue eyes and horns going up, sort of framing his ears. Like a tiefling? Yes. All right. And you look... And it is Alias Brago. The oh. ship captain from forever ago, right? Yeah. I forgot he was a tiefling. I thought you were going to say somehow Val shouldn't beat us back here. I was going to be like, what? No. <laughs> we wanted to find him because why? Ship, we need a, we need void, we need passage. I'm going to go straight to him. Oh, it is so good to see you. Oh, and you just oh, hands off. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah really? fine. Skip pleasantries. We're in a bit of hurry. Mm. Is your it's ship so here? It's so good to see you. Bartender, get see... my friend bring I, whatever no, she no, wants. No, no, I'm not drinking anymore tonight. I've had way you. too much. Uh, oh. Listen, is your ship here? That's how, that's how I got here. Would you be willing if we pay you for quick uh, get out? I mean, sure, we could leave in the morning if you'd like. Nope, like now. Like now, now. Now, now. Are you in trouble? I am not, but uh, Ron and Velkan, remember them? They are acting very strange. I think they blew something up. Shit. It's very important uh, that you tell me exactly what type of troubles you are in now. I do not know. I just know that we need to get to uh, Where are they? air more outside. All right, come with me. Many thanks. He uh, stands up and like, you know, Burls out his long pirate coat because he's awesome and a badass and then walks outside um, and he whispers um, something into one of his crewmates ear uh, who kind of gets up and starts gathering some people and he goes, it is good to see you all. I wish it was on better circumstances, but your friend has told me that you're in some kind of trouble. If you don't mind, please go ahead and inform me why we have to leave immediately. Um, the town is blowing up. It's dangerous. We should go. Uh, Ron just points so, at the fire and just like, uh, we have to go. Oh, is this you? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. We just we just saw it happen. We just happened to see Ron it. is obviously Dang. really bad at lying and avoiding eye contact. All right, so you did not just see what happened. You had something to do with this, yes. Who's I don't know what you're you? talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. Be quiet now. I have to learn what is going on here to understand how to help you. 
because you have gotten yourselves in quite the jam. So, you two, and looks at Ron and Valkins and Jolly, like, wow, well, something happened. This, this thing's blowing up. <laughs> He's like, what did you exactly blow up? And who did it belong to? Uh, well, f first of all, it did not Ron. It was Bron. And it was Brad Pitt. And, it. Uh, yes, and Brad Pitt, Who's not Brad Valkan. Pitt? Uh, some uh, guy. And uh, there was a ship full of uh, flammable, uh, combustible objects. Uh, Guns, ha cannons, gunpowder. To belong to, and we're on just whispers, Valshun. I'm just going to lean over to Vin, like, are you sure you had nothing to do with all this? Are you sure? Alias anything. grabs you, Ron, and pulls you into the alley. Um, and he sort of pushes you against the wall and says, You mean to tell me that you destroyed goods belonging to Valshun, which in turn means they were belonging to Naomi, which means in turn they belong to the collective? Uh, in, in so many words, yes. He starts cursing in a different language. Um, that's, I don't know if any of you all speak this language. Let's take a look. I do, because I have a helm of languages on. Of uh, <laughs> comprehension. Yeah. That's right. So I giggle at all the swears you say. Yeah. Um, if anyone knows Infernal, oh, he's cursing in Infernal. <laughs> um, and what Ooh, roughly Infernal translates to you, to get. Uh, what roughly translates to you, uh, Vince, uh, is you lot of mother loving lady dogs. How could you do something so ignorant and get me caught up in this manure? Mm. Literal mm -hmm. translation. Sounds all right. Um, nice way of saying it. Mm -hmm. We've got to get you out of here. Immediately, this is very important. Oh God, we're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. The, the dogs are going to be locked down. It's okay. Ron can change appearance for one hour. We just have to disguise. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, uh, we can make invisible, right? Uh, Vance. Yeah. I Actually, I don't know your name's Vance, so I just say v uh, Dogs on fire. Uh, so actually, maybe... no, no. I think everyone does know my name is Vince because I was Vince um, yep. with the kids. Like, oh, right. Name? Okay, okay. Vince. And he he looks at you and he goes, You're Vin, aren't you? And then I like curtsy, like at your service. <laughs> You're wearing the same clothes. It's, I mean, they're slightly <laughs> different, they're tailored different. <laughs> I mean, this is true, but it's just the same clothes. I won't. I like green, okay, God. I mean, green's a very nice color. You know, I don't typically wear it, but let's go to other people. Well, other people didn't know. I found out really good information about Naomi and her crew. I'm sure, you did a really good job, and, and your friends are very proud of you. But they don't oh. know yet because these two knuckleheads had to go blow something up. Ron thought you'd be proud. I mean, I am proud, but you're overshadowing my news, and I like pout. <laughs> Ron, Ron will make it up to you, but uh, we we have to go. All right. Well, I need to inform the rest of the crew that we are leaving immediately, and they will not have any sort of extended shore leave for the time being. They're going to be very upset. They will make so, it up to you. Do you guys not want to free the three prisoners from um? What was the name of that town? Vantis? Uh, oh? You have news? And I like smack my hand on my palm, like the palm of my <laughs> hand on my head. <laughs> That's what I've been trying to tell you guys. Um, Naomi's crew has the three from Vantis. Oh, Del Captain Delis, we have to rescue these three people, but, um,. We are in uh, trouble. You have got to be kidding me. I don't know. Do we really have to? Mm, technically, we stopped the war, so maybe not. Maybe not. Did we start a war? Yeah, I mean, it's your choice. We yeah, I was going to say, them having the prisoners is what's keeping them at a standstill, right? 
No. no. Oh, okay. Ron I forgot. Like, what was Falcon, the point of them having it? Ron and Valken found out in their buddy adventure um, <laughs> that they are holding these prisoners to keep them at a standstill for now. And the goal is to hold them until they get all their shipments of guns and cannons so they can destroy the whole encampment outside the town. <laughs> oh, but now oh. they can do that. Ron has uh what you say, idea. We can go to um, West Mill. There's a gentleman's shack. No longer, uh, is now vacant because he's dead. What is gentleman's shack? Did you kill him? No, no, no. 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 You killed him, didn't you? No. no, no, well, in a way, because he introduced us to boss guy, and boss guy killed him for doing so. What so, the heck have you been getting yourselves into? Uh, this is the I last time we let you guys all drink tea. No, no, no. Braun and Brad call. got in trouble. Braun, Braun and, and Valken do nothing. Who the fuck is Brad? Oh, it's Valken. So Brad Pitt. Oh, oh, Valken is Brad, and you are yeah, Braun. Not, not got it. No. Brad is Brad. Mm. We are uh, <clears throat> not exactly in a secret location, I don't think. Oh, we're in Dark Alley. It's pretty secret as it could be. So, Brad is Brad. Maybe Somebody not a good idea not because ship is on fire. In any meaningful way, so we can hide yeah. in Shack. Uh, has lots of guns. Oh, me, me and Val can have guns now. Oh, you have guns now? Oh, yeah. Ron does not know how to use it. Did we? Oh, I would not know either. Grabbing like a pistol or something from his house? Is that what we did? Yeah. yeah we no, we, we did. grabbed a dagger and a gun. I forgot to put that in my inventory. <laughs> um, so, and y'all could have picked up any number of firearms if you would have liked um, from his place. So, uh, not a, a big deal there. But I'll just I'll just paste over some... Uh, I would guns. also like to change my appearance in case Scratch comes out and sees me with them. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to have brown hair to my shoulders and a beard and a, and a mustache. Um, basically, I look like Maximus Rake. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> So, oh, um, there. you emerge from the alley, um, this group with an extremely handsome bearded man um, in the group walk out. <laughs> and I take off my adventures vest and put it in my bag so that I have different clothes on. <laughs> and Ron will look like um, a Goliath. Okay. Whoa. All right. Can so anybody the change what I look like? Bryn looks like Bryn. Here's the deal. You do whatever you have to do, all right? But after these shenanigans, it's going to be very difficult to find any sort of ship to go anywhere. So do what you have to do. I will get the ship ready discreetly. You come back to the docks, find your way back to me. I will get you out of here. Deal. Bryn's going to take Vin's green cloak, just temporary, and put it on Malkin because it has a green hood. Mm -hmm. That will help both of you. A little. And my new name is, and I like put my hand on my shoulders and I'm like, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask. I don't know, Brian. So we are Bryn, Bron, Brad, and Brian. Is what you are no, trying to no, sell to me. Not, not, not the Bron. People oh, looking no, Bron. Bron's the one that blew up the ship. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> Ron is now John. John. Ron. John. Yes. John. J A U A. There you go. But why do we have to hide who we are? Oh, you said I didn't know it was you. I made friends with um. You well, know, um, Naomi's crew, and they can't see me running around with you guys if we're going to go back and save the folks. Or, alternatively, I can knock on the door and be like, oh, I forgot my cape downstairs. I got to go get it. And then go get it. Alternatively, the doors are made of wood. And I, like, show some fire <laughs> from my hands. <laughs> 
Um, oh, the uh, reason Braun, Braun and Brad cannot go back in tavern because there is a secret bar downstairs. You are John now. What? Yeah, but Braun and Brad went to secret bar downstairs and uh, it, uh, stuff happened. Oh, but John knows none of this. John does not know anything. There's a secret bar under the bar. I should have gone back to sleep. I'm gonna put my arm around Brandon and I'm like, well, now you're awake and I we think, gotta deal uh, with some stuff. Going forward, <laughs> I need some sort of uh, disguise. So, wherever we go next, we have to find some place where I can buy this costume or something because this is getting ridiculous. I don't have magic, okay? Maybe if you start fucking things up, nobody needs to pretend to be anyone else, just saying. Alright, what's the plan? Yeah, it really wasn't my fault. Oh, yeah, the plan? About, uh, we, our, we, how we rescued the rabbit? Uh, it's the rabbit friend, right? Oh, well. Welby, yes. Welby. Uh, Welby, we, okay, so what happened? Uh, Ron hear a big commotion outside bar, a tavern. So Ron went outside and there was this, uh, what is uh, cat cat thing person? The uh, tabaxi uh, was punching small child. Ron gets really angry because Ron doesn't like small children to get hurt. So Ron said, hey, but the small child was actually Welby, uh, old friend who Welby we give a cart and horse. Line? Yes. And oh, they were... What is uh what is word Valken uh shake down it's Barnaby Barnaby okay uh yeah yeah so they Protection shake money. they shake Welby for money but oh, uh it's Welby no good have, have no money but then uh they kidnap in the bag and then put in carriage so uh Valken and I run to jump on uh on Welby's uh cart and horse that we give them and we chased all through town and uh. And then we both jump on oh, Ron and Brad did that. Oh yeah. And um and then we save Wilby and we we went to jail and the uh, guard captain uh, was very angry at us and um but uh, he's a he's a good guy, not a bad guy. Uh every he does not have uh he did not take a well he take bribe, but he don't like oh. take bribe. So he Long said Long story short, um some people are dead ship blew up now we're here why did ship blow up anyways what is plan i don't care i don't care what is plan to rescue three who are uh who are um captured i just gave you some ideas it's no one listening to me no you can do them just we need to pick one we need to pick plan oh i also i learned something new so, uh, do you remember that bard that was hanging out with us who was like, all like, oh, I'm going to dominate this person. And then they did. And then it was really cool. And I was all like, I want to do that. Yes. Well, I can do it now. What Don't ask questions. Dominate I can do it lots now. Of... Okay. Well, so maybe we can you go up to guy. door. You take charge of whoever's watching door. You let us in. We rescue people. How many people are down there that we have to fight? Um... There are, including the doorman, who I may or may not be able to dominate, he's big and burly, uh, is n eight, nine, nine people. Nine, nine people are there. Nine people. Oh, Don't mean. want to kill anyone. Including What was the Naomi. man's facial hair status? What? Guarding the door. What was the man's facial hair like guarding the door? Um, it was just burly, just big and burly. Um, I didn't get what he was, but uh, Naomi walked in with a tiefling dwarf and gnome, and a ha and she is a halfling orc. So, um, pretty small, but halfling really orc. rude. Very rude. What does a halfling orc look like? I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> it's really tiny. Tiny orc? orc. Whoa. Did I write Smith. that down wrong? <laughs> Like a goblin or... <laughs> oh, you mean uh, half work? Just half work? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Naomi was a halfling. The half orc was in the bar dragging the bodies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> 
did. <laughs> when a half orc and a halfling love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi is born. <laughs> Okay, right. so you want to go, you want to sneak in or you want to go, like, do we do this quiet or we do this loud? I'm scared to do loud. We already have lots of attention on. Well, I'm sorry. Are we right we now? On in bread. Okay, here's two other options. I'm filled with them today. I could go with the whole, oh, I forgot my cloak downstairs. And I was already there today. So they'll let me in, maybe. Um, You're going to do that, that as Vince or Brian? I'll go in as Vince. Okay. Um, you have my cloak. And then maybe you can be invisible. I can make you invisible and come in with me. And then we can figure it out. However, you'll only be invisible for one minute instead of ten. Instead, so... you dominate your keeper person and just ask them to let us in. I could, yeah, that, that could be, if they don't let us in with the other thing, I can maybe just dominate them. The question, How many people where, where can are be we right now? Well, We're in a dark alley next to the tavern. Oh, we're still in the alley. Okay. Yep. So as okay. you, you can also see that people are sort of rushing down the street, down towards the tavern. There's a group uh, of, of people that are running towards the tavern. Do, I can twin it and make two people. Do visible. Ron and Val can recognize any of these people? Um, they just look like shady characters. You know, you haven't seen them specifically before, but the the whole town seems to be coming to life, like again. <laughs> well, and the other positive side is that maybe everyone in this stronghold is going over to see the explosion, so they may not be there. Oh, good plan. Okay, we should go. And Wait, getting so ship are we ready. going invisible or are we going to see if I can get my cloak first? Um, uh, what, what plan do you want? Plan A is see if I can get, well, yeah, you here, here I'll lay out the plans you pick. Plan <laughs> A, I pretend like I lost my cloak downstairs and see if he'll let me in to go get it. Um, all the while, two people are invisible next to me and we all go in together. Plan B, I dominate him, uh, and he'll open the door for us. Maybe it's a it's a hard maybe. This might not work at all. Um, what happens if it doesn't work? If it doesn't work, then does um, he get mad? Or you may maybe Plan C would be. I'm pretty sure this is a wood door, and I can light it on fire. You see a group of people running back out of the tavern. Like these people ran to get some people. And you notice that um, Nyx, as well as Scratch, and some of the others are running back down the street towards the docks. Ooh. Now's our opportunity. Okay, we gotta go. We go. We go with plan okay. B, and if spell don't work, then we bash Let's go. In. Yes. Okay. I can guard um, outside if you can only do two invisible. But I think you just tell him, let us in. We all run in and save people. I cannot do all these things at the same time. Um... Ooh because it takes a lot of brain power and i am small brain so. no, let's just let's just go time is of essence we'll figure it we'll do it live okay how, how are you all getting to the warehouse which is also in the docks district by the way you know that or vin vince vin uh, i don't know your other name brian <laughs> brian brian <laughs> <laughs> um are you Running to? Are you trying to stay out of sight? Are you walking casually? What are you all doing? Just doing what other people are doing. Yeah, walking at the speed that other people are walking to like look at the fire, I suppose. But like, we're gonna like, like, oh, we're all going this way and then we veer. So most people on the streets now, you're fairly certain that they're the collective trying to figure out what the hell's going on. There's not a whole lot of bystanders at this point. Mm -hmm. It's more that they're getting people for help and sending people in other directions and that kind of stuff. I turn to the crowd and say, we should be really sneaky about this. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a thing I can totally do. <laughs> John is really good at sneaking. I don't think that's, that's true. The big Goliath man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I can make two people invisible at the moment, but the moment I try to dominate the door keep, uh, you will be visible again. It is your call. Keep in mind, too, that we also have to find our way onto Delius' ship when this is all said and done. Yeah, so. one minute is not enough time. So... You know, I don't know how... It's just to get us in, I thought, right? Like and then we gotta fight our way out. He's Can left we... by now. He's got his crew and making their way back. Can to get we things take ready. alleys to get yeah. there? Yeah, we'll mm -hmm. take the back way. Yeah, you can do that. The back way, all the way home. <laughs> you need like stealth checks from us? Yes. So if you are heading to the north through the docks, normally it's a 30 minute casual walk or so. Might take you 40 or 45, trying to sneak and kind of evade people. So I need a stealth check from all of you. For moves, are you still disadvantaged if you're somebody else? Uh, yeah, it's because my armor. Oh, okay. very heavy. 18. 18. That's with disadvantage. 12. 12. Oh. 23. Okay. 16. Nice. Okay. Overall good. Maybe yes. I should multi-class this uh, rogue. <laughs> yeah. With my stealth, good. Jesus. Good. Um, so we are, or we, you all are remaining <laughs> stealthy throughout the streets and um, you're making your way, weaving in and out of alleys. A couple of, you know, close calls where someone double takes, but you're already gone. But you are able to stealth your way northward through the uh, streets of Last Chance and you make it probably a couple hundred feet from the warehouse where uh, Vin was earlier. And um, you are ready to infiltrate the collective and try and um, rescue a few of the uh, diplomats from Vantis. So that is where we will take our break for the evening. And when we come back, um, they will try and do a sneaking mission, <laughs> I guess. Um, so don't go anywhere. Make sure to, uh, get some, uh, snacks and stretch all your appendages. And, uh, we will see you all here in just a bit. And eh, don't go anywhere. <laughs> 